Hey everyone, um, I uh, have been meaning to give you a little uh, routine for immunity, for to strengthen up the body and I'm just going to adjust this phone because the wind is coming up and I'm going to fall over halfway through. Um, and so yeah, so I'm just going to run you through a little bit of a routine. I have mentioned in a previous little video about the lung meridian, how it starts up underneath your collarbone out wide yeah you'll feel a little lump it's like a little uh, golf ball it's actually a part of your shoulder blade believe it or not yeah it's called the coracoid process so just on the inside of that yeah um, so right out to your shoulder underneath your collarbone and if you find it bony lump there sometimes people talk about it feeling like a tiny little golf ball inside that just inside and down over another little ridge which is your first rib and that's the beginning of your lung meridian so it comes up comes down the thumb side of the arm so i have spoken about you know giving that a nice thump and you can thump all the way down that lung meridian and then when you interlock the webbing of the index and thumb and you'll take your index finger along that forearm along the where you'd get your pulse red yeah your radial pulse along that radial bone and just pressing in there give it a nice little massage and then down the fleshy part of the thumb and along the ridge of the thumb so that's a really good one to work both sides you know give it a nice rub give it a thump you can do this at any time you know when the kettle's boiling down your arm when you wake up before you go to bed yeah, just stimulating that lung meridian. Obviously taking some nice deep breaths is um, always really good. And, you know, breathing in, yes, but also uh, breathe out, relax any stress, yeah. Relax the worry. Um, yeah, I know times are a bit tough, um, but also you might be finding, a lot of you might think, you know what, this is the best time ever. It's certainly a good time for the planet, because she's not having as many aeroplanes, as many ships on the sea, as many uh, industrial, you know, making of manufacturing of things and sending things everywhere. We're all having to just come back to our natural state a bit more. So maybe this is going to be the beginning of something new where we are actually kinder on Mother Nature. Where we don't do as much. We don't have to see every single thing in the world to feel like we've done life. Um, so we could just be content with being where we are. Um, probably very easy for me to say, I've traveled a little bit here and there and I've seen some things. So if you have seen a lot, maybe now's the time to say, I don't really have to keep traveling. Maybe we could all start to quieten down, especially in first world countries where we've um, had it pretty damn good. So that's my rave <laughs> for this video. Uh, other things for immunity, obviously state of mind, you know, heart space, yeah. So you can actually just press into that sternum. It's a big, long, your chest bone, yeah. And it, it might feel quite tender. So all the way down, up and down that chest bone, give it a nice little press. And when you do this, it mightn't feel that sore, but if you then go and press it again tomorrow, you think, wow, actually that sort of feels almost bruised. So befriend your chest bone, give it a nice little rub, yeah? Good for the heart energy. So uh, again, you can give the chest a little thumping. Yeah. In behind here is your thymus, and again, that's to do with, especially when we're younger, the production of white blood cells. That's all happening in your bones as well. So all this thumping and bumping and pushing and rubbing is really good for your body here. Yeah. So the chest bone, nice stimulation. Um, also, you know, the heart chakra, it's called Anahata Chakra. And uh, it's a really nice energy, isn't it? Your heart space. We know probably what it's like when you've got a broken heart. You know what it's like when you're in love. So they're sort of the extremes. But that heart space is said to be always abundant, like in, in all of us, it's this fullness. So the more your busy mind can surrender down to the unconditional loving heart space, that is, whatever's happening is happening. And all we can do 
is breathe and relax because staying in the busy mind just creates more of a drama. Uh, staying more heartfelt, more humble, more calm, more at peace, more content uh, will generally help support your nervous system and your health. When you're feeling good mentally, you feel pretty good physically. <sighs> so out breath is important. A bit of stimulation of that lung meridian. You know, keeping your mind into the heart space is important. There's some really nice more um, body work we can do. Um, and we'll start on the inner thigh. So I've got one leg straight, yeah, and I've got one knee bent. Now, if you need to, pop a little um, blanket or a, uh, something under that leg if it, if it can't come to the floor easily. So give it some, some support, yeah, if you need. Now, I'm just going to use my forearm. It's quite a bony little ridge there, isn't it, the forearm? Like a rolling pin. So I'm holding onto the wrist, and I lean in. Now, it's not just my elbow. Yeah? It's the whole forearm. It's like maybe here you can see my elbow is actually not on the leg. My wrist is just on the other side. And th then you lean in and I'm just rolling. Can you see my hand is reminding this forearm to roll a little bit. Yeah. So a nice little roll down. Now this is getting into the, this inner thigh in uh, traditional Chinese medicine. Uh, relates to more like the liver meridian. A little bit closer to the front, the inner front thigh is your spleen meridian. And a little bit inside, inner, right around a little bit more towards the back of the leg is more your kidney. But you can just give that whole inner thigh a nice rolling and you might find that it's actually quite tender. Up into the groin, so that's where the lymph, you know, for fighting off infections if you cut yourself and you get a lot of lymph go to areas to help fight off any bacterial stuff so keeping that lymph nice and strong and obviously that's your white blood cells isn't it so yeah keep everything nice and moving along this inner thigh so liver meridian relates generally to the emotion of anger it is said and uh, that's not going to be very helpful for your immune system if you're feeling angry at yourself or angry at others so again work on that out breath <sighs> sighing is said to be a great sound for the liver so sighing so once you've given that a nice little rub you can then use your opposite hand and use the heel of the hand and it's on the the inside of that shin bone so not actually on the bone itself but just off the edge of the shin bone along here and this also is relating to the spleen and the spleen has got a lot to do with it's a very vascular blood filled organ and it's got a lot to do with storing of white blood cells so it's also an immune system so here you've got the liver and the spleen and the kidney again they all run you know generally i'm being pretty uh rough in my descriptions here but just um on the basic level, this whole inner calf muscle, and again, it might be pretty tender. And I'm using the heel of the hand and leaning into the muscle, not the bone. And I'm not picking it up and rolling it, not just yet anyway. So pressing straight down, you lean in and that energy comes down your arm and you're pressing into the heel of the hand. Very nice. Now, really nice kidney point between your ankle bone and the Achilles tendon, yeah, in here. Yeah, in behind the ankle bone. Get your thumbs and just press in there. So you could be doing this while you're watching TV, you know, maybe during the ad break. Um, again, just hanging out at home. Feel free to get in and feel your body and find some of those tender points. Uh, don't be alarmed that they're tender because they're, oh, they often are. One, because we just don't go around prodding ourselves very much. It depends on I don't know what you like doing, but uh, often I find most people have never really given themselves massage, self-massage. So they realize there's a lot of tight little points and that tightness could sometimes mean a stagnation, you know, an excessive buildup, a blockage, um, or sometimes it's a deficiency. And generally you'll find it's a bit of a um, painful but it's good it's like oh my god that's so painful but gee it's good yeah and that's what you're looking for so don't overdo but also don't be shy yeah? get in there and move some of that energy so kidney energy yeah 
Um, I'm not quite sure if I've mentioned this before, but the kidneys in Chinese medicine talk about they grasp the lung chi. So when you're stressed, when you're hyper, yeah, then you sometimes feel like you're trying to take a deep breath in, but it doesn't really feel like it's getting into the body fully. It's an unusual feeling. If you haven't felt it before, you know, I hope you don't get to feel it, but I've noticed it if I'm ever a bit stressed and breathing in and it's like no, no size, no matter how big I try to make the breath in, it just doesn't feel to stick, doesn't feel like it's anchoring in the body. So the kidney energy helps to anchor your lung chi, yeah, your breath. So it's important working on the kidneys. Now I've got very dirty feet because I was doing some work out in the garden. But you know, I think for a long time, humans have always had dirty feet. <laughs> so let's, um, you can see the ball of the foot pretty obviously that slightly brown or marked area but just underneath that it's probably more in line with your second toe there's a bit of a dip so press in there that's actually the beginning of your kidney meridian yeah you know? so give that a good push and if you like you could always do that number one that beginning of the kidney meridian and in between the ankle bone and the achilles tendon achilles tendon so it's important, especially when you're trying to nourish your kidney energy, uh, lung energy and build your immune system that you keep your feet warm. So don't go walking around on cold flooring. Yeah? So uh, try and keep your feet warm. If you're feeling cool, sometimes you might notice you even feel cold around the kidneys, then wrap a scarf around your, your lower back, your lower back ribs. Maybe place your hands like this onto your kidneys. Yeah, and just feel that lovely energy coming in. So working the kidney. Now we use the forearm, yeah, same forearm to the same leg for that liver region, inner thigh. Now you can use the opposite forearm. If you can reach, if you can lean forward and reach, or you can use your elbow, but often it's a bit far to get down to the foot, isn't it? So just use the, the heel of your hand, maybe the little finger side, you could just roll. Some people like to use the thumbs. Yeah, the heel of the hand. But again, I'm using my body weight. That's why I'm rocking forward and back, not because I've gone a bit crazy or anything, but but I'm using my weight. Yeah. So it's not just having to use your arm strength to do it. You'll get tired if you do it that way. So leaning in. So whatever works, really, that's the rule of thumb. Whatever's working for you. Massaging along the arch of the foot. Yeah, It's like doing the whole of the Sydney Harbour Bridge, yeah? all the way up the arch from the heel along to the big toe and give that a nice squeeze. All right, now let's rub up and down. Inner thigh, inner calf muscle, inner foot, give it a nice warming. This is more what we'd call the yin organs, so they're more about creating yeah great deep held energy yeah so it's good for our life force nourishing on a you know western anatomical western physiological you know the kidneys cleansing the blood yeah calming blood pressure keeping the balance of salts in the blood and all sorts of things the balance of fluid creating urine that cleansing process the liver again doing so many things the liver's on your the right side of your body at um you know the liver's storage of of essential sugars so for energy when you need it you know stores glucagon it helps produce bile and uh, you know not only just cleansing the blood if you took any alcohol or whatever substances might be in foods it's it's uh, antibiotics it's going to be cleansing painkillers whatever you're putting into your body will go through into the digestive tract into your stomach it's going to end up going through the liver so it's cleansing everything that you're putting into your mouth so it does a lot of work creating amino acids um, some hormones I mean it's creating oily sort of um, vitamins like a and d and e and K maybe if I remember rightly anyway so lots of stuff the liver is doing so many fabulous things and your spleen as I said it's 
a little bit more over to the left, but it's very, very blood filled. It's cleansing um, storage of, of um, red and white blood cells and all sorts of things. I mean, look it up because I don't, I don't know a whole lot, but they're all very important organs. So you can do that on both legs. So I'll just work on one side of the body and, uh, and then you can swap body and just start the video again. The swap bodies <laughs> go to the other side of your body. Now, front chin on the other side, yeah, on that lateral side of your shin bone, yeah, just roll the fingers over the edge of the shin bone. So not on the shin, just off that shin and right up near the knee. It's like you feel that shin bone, it just sort of curves out. Just get in there and give that a really nice dig. It's just part of the stomach meridian, yeah. And again, you'll find some points very tender. There's a lovely point. I love talking about this point. It's called Su Susan Lee. Susan Lee. Leg three more miles. E er sun. Sun is three. So Susan Lee. It means leg three more miles, meaning that if you're at a point where you think, you know what, I just I'm so tired, I couldn't go any further. You work on this point, yeah, and you'll be able to walk another three more miles. How about that? So this is stomach meridian. If you're unsure again where I am, if, if you lift and lower your foot, can you see that muscle bulges up? It's called the anterior, anterior tibialis. So you really want to dig your fingers into that muscle, the top of that muscle. Yeah, that's the nice point. If you go a little, a little further out, there's a lumpy bit, that bone, which is actually the same bone as your outer ankle. This is the fibula, yeah. Whereas your inner ankle to your shin bone, that's your tibia. So your fibula, just give that little tendon there under that fibula a good little flick. This is more gallbladder meridian. It's the yang pair to the liver. Yeah, so working down that outer edge of the leg, giving a nice squeeze. Nice rolling of the muscles here. Another one, nice one, uh, maybe I'll show you in another video is rolling on a blanket is quite nice I mean, you can get a tennis ball yeah so you can turn to the side or i'll turn to the side sorry and just the heel of the hand will rub up and down that outer thigh from the outer hip all the way up to the outer knee so a nice little rubbing along here stimulating that gallbladder meridian oh self massage is fabulous you can give it a little bit of a thump yeah you can even sort of roll to the side like this, yeah, so that the, the knee's a little bit more on the floor, yeah, and you can just work your way down there too. And that'll, a little bit to the front of the thigh is that stomach meridian, it runs down, yeah, along the outer edge of the shin bone. But you just, don't worry too much about what's what, and don't worry if it's sore, it often is. Um, just getting in and feeling your body getting to know it touch it see what it's how it's feeling get that energy moving that's what's important um and it, it paired to the kidney meridian is the bladder meridian so partly sort of working along the the side leg but especially if you get your thumbs into that back of the calf muscle and this is where you can give it a good little roll and a press and all are calf muscles i find are incredibly tender the bladder meridian is the pair to the kidneys as i said the kidney kidneys are cleansing your blood and producing the waste product which is urine so um just getting into that back of the calf muscle and releasing any tension there it's nice work and that meridian actually comes down the outside i talk about the kidney meridian on the inner ankle bone yeah the bladder meridian is between the achilles tendon and the outer ankle bone yeah so that's the kidney on the inside and bladder meridian on the outside of the ankle bone and achilles tendon so they're nice ones just to massage you could just squeeze the whole ankle you could give the whole foot a shake yeah and there's so many things we can do nice little release for the ankle yeah little bounce out of the leg if you like just rolling down the front thigh is pretty nice or again you could use the heel of your hands like you're kneading dough do we all need dough 
No. One day, love will become the currency. Caring for each other will be the currency. And we welcome the fact that uh, we're happy to go without so that those who've had less can uh, be happy too and have a little more. And us that have had more can have a little less. It's all about balance, isn't it? So there's just a little bit of work, a little bit of a thump on your kidneys. I'll let you do the other half and um, just see how you feel afterwards. Like my, this half of the body now just feels nice and warm. I've only done, again, lung meridian on that arm. Uh, and there's plenty of other stuff I can show you. But right now, get into the, the legs and give them a bit of work. Give that lung meridian a bit of work. Stay out of the wind. I'm in the wind a bit, so it's time to get inside and stay warm. Much love. Be well. Namaste.